Um, so, and you just uh, reflecting on your experiences, everyone. Now, uh, if you would want to share something that was challenging or you know unexpected challenge in your complex projects, uh, and how do you think you overcome that using all of the stuff that you've learned so far, or uh, is does anybody want to share anything like that, like any complex projects where you face I'll, some I'll... challenges? I'll start and then maybe Justine can follow. Yeah. Um, I I like uh, environmentally responsible buildings. I like buildings that don't waste energy. And um, I did a very interesting project, I thought. Um, uh, and uh, the facilities folks we invited to meeting after meeting to participate in the design. And this had um, not a complex mechanical system, but it was different. And the facilities guys had responsibility for many other buildings. Um, what I discovered was that the facilities guys weren't up to the task of actually managing and understanding what we were doing, despite mm -hmm. the fact that they said they did. Um, and so a, a, a surprise to me was finding out that the limiting factor in what we could do in design um, came down to this facilities person. And so that was a lesson learned that was a little painful that, um, you know, we got out over this, this guy's skis and, and it caused problems. And I uh, didn't discover it until after we were in the building for two years. Um, so now we include kind of some questioning at the project startup to understand not just what level, everyone says, I want a sustainable building, right? But now what level sustainability, but what level they can support. Right. So that and was the... that's interesting. And it's always a people problem, right? <laughs> like never <laughs> you, you never know what comes up. Uh, and Justine, you wanted to add to you Yeah. Know, I was us. I would say, you know, one of the biggest challenges that we face on every project is is getting to know the client. Every client is totally different in the way that they approach the project. And that changes how we then have to respond to the client. Right. Um, right. So like one, one example was that we just a couple of years ago finished a project that had three different clients that formed one entity. Um, and all of those clients had different motivations for what okay. they wanted to see in the building. So it was our job to kind of moderate between the three different groups and interpret what, you know, what would satisfy everyone um, and uh, make sure we design the, the best building we can for them. Oh, gosh, how long was that project? Must have been so complex. To <laughs> yeah, and that project was dur done during COVID. So that was another, you know, complication oh of the whole thing. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so 